Hi, boys and girls. My name's Karen Colby, and I'm coming to you today as Mother Goose. I brought my friend Feathers along. Feathers really likes to hear stories read to him, and I like to read. I love to read to boys and girls, and I'm going to read a story for you today. I hope you like it. It is called Little Cottontail. And if you look at the picture, you know what the story is going to be about. What do you think it'll be about? Right, it's going to be about a rabbit, isn't it? Little Cottontail. Let's see what is going on with Little Cottontail. Once there was a Little Cottontail rabbit who lived in a cozy nest. Mother said the Little Cottontail, when will I grow up? Soon said his mother. But first, little cottontail, you must leave the nest. Leave the nest, he said. His little round nest was just the right size. It was soft and warm with a bed made of grass and tufts of fur. It was a nice nest. A mother and father robin peered down at him. Their babies were still too young to leave the nest. They wondered what little Cottontail would do. With a flop and a hop and a hump and a bump, little Cottontail left his nest. Now am I grown up, he asked. His mother smiled. Not yet, she said. First, little Cottontail, you must learn to wash yourself. Please teach me, he said. Watch closely, said the mother. A porcupine sitting on a hollow log watched closely too. This is the way you wash yourself early in the morning. Shake your feet one at a time, then lick them clean one at a time. Scrub your face with your little front paws and scratch your ears with your big hind paws. Then fluff all your fur up and lick it clean and you'll be bright and shiny early in the morning. I can do that, said Little Cottontail, and he did. Didn't he do that well? A deer mouse whispered to her tiny children. Now, now am I grown up, said Little Cottontail. Not yet, said his mother. First, Little Cottontail, you must learn what big rabbits eat. Out in the meadow all summer long, they eat grass and herbs and lots of green plants. Over by the farmhouse all summer long, they eat cabbage, cabbages and carrots and nice fresh fruit. All through the winter, white with snow, they eat buds and twigs and the bark of trees. These are things that big rabbits eat whenever they are hungry. Little Cottontail said, I listened closely and I think I know them. And he did. Now am I grown up, said Little Cottontail. Not yet, hissed a woodchuck, popping up from his burrow. First, you must learn about foxes. What about foxes, said Little Cottontail. Foxes like to chase rabbits, said his mother. They like to catch them for dinner. You must learn how to tell that a fox is coming. Please, little Cottontail, watch very closely. This is the way you twitch your nose. Sniff, 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 sniff. To sniff the air for the smell of a fox. And this is the way you cock your ears and raise your head and glance around to see if the bad fox is coming near. And if the fox comes, this is the way you lay back your ears and bound away. This is the way you hop, 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 as fast as you can before the fox can catch you. You dodge and you twist and you take shortcuts you zigzag and circle and double back on your tracks. You lead the fox to a briar patch. You do a quick, quick stop there. 
and hop to the side. You freeze like a statue and the fro fox runs by. And all that the fox ever does catch is a paw full of briar platch thorns. That's a lot to learn, said little Cottontail, though I did listen closely. Now let me see what came first. Oh yes, first I must twitch my nose. So the little Cottontail twitched his nose to sniff the air for the smell of a fox. Then he cocked his ears and he glanced around. Mother, cried little Cottontail, a fox is coming. Into the hollow log sprang the porcupine. The deer mouse scampered off swiftly with her tiny children. Down popped the woodchuck into his burrow and chee, chee, cried the robin as he flew away. Little Cottontail and his mother laid back their ears and bounded away and the fox chased after them. Oh dear, thought the mother, what if little Cottontail doesn't remember all I told him? Little Cottontail zigzagged and he circled and he doubled back on his tracks. Then he came to a quick stop and hopped to the side. He froze like a statue and the fox ran by straight into the thorns of a briar patch. <sighs> Mother, said the cottontail, gasping for breath. Now am I grown up? Yes, said his mother. Now you are grown up, big cottontail. I like that story. That's a cute story, and he listened very well to all the lessons that his mother had taught him to keep himself safe. We have to listen to people when they tell us how to keep ourselves safe too, don't we? It's like with the virus. We have to wear a mask, we have to wash our hands, and we have to stay about six feet apart. That will keep us safe, won't it? That's all for now, boys and girls. I'll see you again.